I'm Martin. Uh, recently I bought this uh, Apidura uh, rear top two bag from their back country lineup. It's supposed to be like waterproof bag. Uh, it costs around 65 euros, something like that. Uh, and uh, I bought it uh, to replace my Topic uh, fuel tank, which was made out of plastic and it was very very hard to uh, get things out of it i really hurt my fingers when putting them in and uh, yeah so basically i bought this one i thought it's like it costs twice as much so it's gonna be very well designed very good but in reality i was quite disappointed especially with the you know, with the velcro straps and uh, i will put it on a bike so you can see uh, and yes, let's let's put it on. Uh, so if you follow the instructions, uh, you attach the bag with these uh, Velcro straps. Uh, you actually adjust the uh, length of it according to your seat post and frame. I will not do it because these straps are not really working for me, and uh, you will see why in a few seconds. So. I tighten the bag as hard as I can. Same as this. And then now we need the last one. So you see here it's fine, very good, no movement, but here the bag is sliding from one side to another. And the movement is quite big, I cannot uh, tighten it more, avoid it, and uh, yes, so when are you, you are in the backcountry for a long day, it's gonna go on one side when you start to rub your leg against it. There is no solution here, as like it's, there are no uh, silicone or some rubber underneath here, it's very very slippery. Also, on the strap itself, it's nothing there, so it's not really working for me because it's quite annoying. And uh, I think the best way what you can do, and you see, snapped as well. <laughs> it wasn't like I, I uh, yeah, surprise for me as well. So you see, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, uh, but yes, I wasn't planning to do it anyway, and uh, we'll use these straps. In you instead, um, I will use uh, like some wireless straps, and uh, you will see how much better they are, because they are made out of rubber, and you have some leverage to actually tighten it up and uh, uh, avoid this movement. So, so yes, I have this through here. As there are no holes, I brute it one time over the posts and tighten it up. Yep, looks very good. Same goes with this one. And tighten it up and look. How good is that comparing to this one? They will never break and they are not sliding. It's not going anywhere. How much would it cost for Apidura to include very short boiler straps, their own, their own produced straps or something like that? It's that easy and it's so good. Also, I got this uh, front uh, top tube bag, same backcountry lineup and let's see how this one looks like
uh, to tighten it, tighten this one. And then you have to attach it here as well. The end look still sliding here and you cannot really like uh, attach it here uh, tighter to avoid this movement in the back. You see still it's pretty bad and yes for me as I was saying for a few times already very disappointed from this uh, supposedly good company which are putting a lot of effort in kind of constructing the bags. Overall the quality is fine but all the basics for the bag to stay on a bike is just not good. And for me as well like I think every cockpit is very different. For me I would like to have it a little bit here so I can put on like a garment on a stem as here it's also in a way here rubbing against the post so I'm gonna do the same thing but here this this attachment it's sewed on so I will have to cut it off make a hole so I can feed through the wireless strap and uh, let's see how it goes approximately measured the width uh, of this strap uh, punch the holes with the punch holder and now I'm about to uh, cut it uh, with a paper knife like uh, from there to there so I can feed through the wireless strand. Yes, I use this uh, metal liner as a guide and just cut a holes uh, with this paper knife and let's see how it looks in the end on the back. Now I have destroyed the warranty. Uh, let's feed uh, the straps through. Just through here. Here. The other one in the front. Goes easily through. Now, you see, you don't have to put it there. Let's try a bit away from a garment or wherever you want. It's here. And there's not enough holes, so I have to root it through again. Twice around the frame. But uh, for a final one, I'll just think I'll buy a different strap. Oh. See? Isn't it good? It's wobbling, but it's not going anywhere. It's not staying in these uh, side positions. And you can put it everywhere you want see it's not moving anywhere thanks apadura for stress and thank you guys for being with me in this one i think this helps for someone for me at least i have like waterproof bags hopefully they hold on for a long time and nothing breaks the same as this one broke This is the final look of uh, Apidura top two bags from their back country lineup uh, attached with the wireless straps. Unfortunately, I had to cut uh, the wireless straps to the size, punch some holes as well, so you can tighten them on the first round uh, around the frame and the seat, uh, but that worked out very good. and. Uh, you can see like uh, now the bags are very very sturdy they are not going anywhere uh, yes so my main thing like an overall like a sink apidura you have to include such straps and don't be cheap 
don't use these ones. Some people are really annoyed over the sliding bags on the side and uh, from this great kind of technical company you expect something more than all the rest. So yeah, hope it helps someone and thank you very much.